Good morning, friends. I'm Dr. Ruchi Bhandari, and I'm the director of Mishka IVF Center. Thank you so much for liking and encouraging me for putting up such videos, and this is just because of your love. So today we are going to talk about PCOS or PCOD, Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome or Polycystic Ovarian Disease. What is PCOD? PCOD is a hormonal disorder wherein your male hormones that is called androgens are in excess to the female hormones and this imbalance leads to a lot of problems not only in the ovaries but your entire body. PCOD is just the disease of your ovaries. It's only limited to your ovaries and PCOS is a syndrome wherein a lot of things are involved like acne, hirsutism, alopecia and a lot many other organs are involved in this disease. Why, what is PCOD and why does it occur? Why, why am I suffering from PCOD? Every 6th, 7th, 8th girl who comes to myopathy suffers from PCOD. Can I get pregnant with PCOD? Why am I suffering from PCOD? Yes, you can get pregnant. But why you are suffering it could be a genetic problem or it could be your lifestyle what kind of lifestyle are you living do you have a sedentary lifestyle are you not exercising are you not getting enough sleep do you have a lot of stress at home or at work a lot of work pressure or your eating habits are not right you're having a lot of junk food or a lot of parties a lot of alcohol a lot of smoking all these can hamper your hormones a clean lifestyle a clean diet good exercise routine can definitely help you lessen the burden of these imbalances in your brain so what can you do about it first of all maintain a good routine of exercise get yourself diagnosed meet your doctor Go meet a good dietitian, have a good diet plan and lead a stress-free life. Do some meditation and yoga. This can really um, cut down uh, the effect of PCOD on your body. Mostly what I'm going to talk about is the reproductive life in a PCOD patient. Why don't I ovulate? Why don't I, I get regular periods? Why do I have excess hair on my body? So what happens in a normal girl is when she's menstruating under the influence of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. These two are the main hormones which cause ovulation. So these two hormones what they do is by the fifth day of your menses they start recruiting the most uh, the best dominant follicle and this ovulates by the day 14 and after that under the influence of progesterone uh, your cycle is maintained for 14 more days and then you get your menses. What happens in PCOD? In PCOD, there is an imbalance of LH and FSH, there is high LH, so there is no dominant follicle, there is no ovulation, there is no progesterone and so you don't get your periods. And what I see in the ovaries in my sonography is there are multiple small follicles in your ovaries which forms like a, ch um, a chain of pearls that is seen on the sonography. You have multiple small follicles, none of the follicles are good quality and you do not ovulate. So what do I do when you come to me? So your treatment is based on uh, your spectrum. It could be mild PCOD, it could be severe PCOS. Mild PCOD is a patient who has PCOD on sonography but has regular periods and is ovulating. Such patients easily get pregnant with the help of drugs. But a severe PCOD is a patient who not only has PCOD, she has irregular menses, she has excessive bleeding whenever she, she has her menses, she has acne, she is obese and she has insulin resistance and multiple problems. These two patients are treated differently. So what are our options? So when you come to me first, I'll screen you how bad your PCOD is. We'll make some lifestyle changes for you. We'll, we'll correct your diet, we'll incorporate a lot of exercise and we might give you insulin sensitizers and drugs for ovulation. And then I monitor you. If you ovulate with just drugs, then that is very good. I'll tell you when to, uh, if you can go for natural uh, conception or you have to go for intrauterine insemination. 
So after that, if you are not responding to drugs, we have injections like gonadotrophin. So we can mix these two and then see if you are ovulating. In spite of these two, you are not ovulating or we do not find uh, eggs in forming in your ovaries, then we have to go for IVF. Also, there are a few patients that with few drugs, they do not respond, but with a high dose of injections, they produce a lot of eggs, which is also dangerous for your body. And then you are a patient of IVF. But do not think that just because you have PCOD, you are a patient of IVF. That is wrong. You can just come to me after six months of trying and I can just give you a few drugs and a few um, habit changes in your lifestyle, which can really help you to get pregnant. This is all for this video. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the details about complications in fertility and about complications in pregnancy that you can occur and how to avoid it. Thank you so much.